Okay, and now I have lift up this engine. There we can see those two chain host chains, and there is this engine bay. And it an engine bay in here it waits that engine what is just in there and there is my this crane system two chains and two chain hoist and there is this chain and then I start to lift that engine down in here next Okay, and then when engine is in back in here, I continue. Next, I'll lift down this engine in here. Okay, and now this engine is in that position, and then I am planning to insert that part in this clutch area in here inside this gearbox area. It's my target now. Okay, and there is this my next target that I insert to insert to set up this clutch, which is there in that gearbox hole. Where is this gearbox array? Okay, and this is the situation now. Okay, I continue to that lift down process. Okay. Okay, and when engine is in that position, in here. Okay, and in that position, this engine goes to that hole in here. First, that clutch area inside in there and then these next things. Okay, and now, now this engine it is nicely in their bay and that area in here is also in, in this engine bay and this giant hoist has been worked well. And also this clutch is in now in inside this clutch hole, this gearbox hole. And next I am planning to planning to set up this uh, engine clutch hole and in this gearbox bar, this clutch bar and then this engine's clutch hole together. It's my next job. Okay, looks good. And I continue. Okay, and then I have interesting job. I need to next insert that metallic bike in here. What is like direct, it is really important direction, this bolt. I need to measure that bolt in that hole in here. And then when those two parts are together, then this engine is almost one point is in ready. And then I can connect those big bolts in here. And now I am planning to... This is like very important 
steering part when we insert that clutch back. Okay, and then then I start to move that a little bit, then lift up this engine that that I can and, and also in that position it's important that I I connect this clutch hole in that gearbox metallic bar, what was the speak. And it's like moving, I need to move that little bit and lift up and, and add you. Now I little bit lift down that engine in that area that I can insert that clutch down here. Then I go to check what is this my metallic steering bike situation. And it was that and this target is in here. It will be lift up. Okay, good. Okay, good. Sounds okay. Then, then it's also good to do so that that insert in jack in below of this gearbox and lift this gearbox a little bit up. And next I will do that because it helps this connection between that steering bolt and then this hole. Okay and then I insert that jack in just below of this gearbox and I lift up a little bit this this gearbox. It's my next job. Because this gearbox must be in same level as this engine. And it's good to, this is a little bit complex adjusting that we engine moves in this way and then the gearbox in that way and finally they connect those bolts. It takes time, a couple of minutes, but I will do that next. Okay, and now I have lift up this this car. Actually this sorry this gearbox. And by the way, this lifting is mandatory because, because then when there is this gearbox, then when we lift this, just now Jack is just up this gearbox uh, bottom area and this cover because it's it's important to lift up this gearbox in in that way. There is this Jack. It is in there, and, and because that one mounting where I have released those bolts, it is now a little bit in up. It is like in air, and we look in here. And it's really important that this is air, because then I can insert that engine back to this gearbox. Because there is issue that, that this engine, this bottom area, takes contact to this support bar. And that's I need to rise up this, this this gearbox. It's mandatory. This gearbox lifting is mandatory. And then I lift that up and then I connect this steering bolt and then I lift down this gearbox. Interesting. And I continue.